Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a little bit since I filmed a video, but I'm here today to film another video on a car that I recently just purchased here not too long ago. This is a 1999 Buick Regal LS model. This has got the 3800 Series 2 V6 engine in it. It's the, the non-supercharged. If it would have been a GX model, it would have been the 3800 supercharger, which the 3800, for those of you who don't know, is probably one of the better engines that uh, GM made that was a V6. So, here's the front of it. Me and my uh, dad completely sanded down the front bumper because it was faded really badly. I wish I had the pictures to show you guys, but it was actually kind of faded around the headlights area. So we uh, took the bumper and resprayed it. So yeah, the front bumper was pretty faded. So my dad went ahead and painted the whole front bumper or whatever. It's uh, not the best job in the world, but it certainly looks a lot better. And I went ahead and threw some new headlights in it and added a Buick tag on the front of it right down there. Make it look a little nicer. See this side of it. Sorry, it's kind of, my car is in the background. That's my 91 Mercedes for those of you guys who don't know. It's got the nice rims on it. They're Buick rims. I went ahead and just threw some new tires on the car recently because the tires that was on this car, the car had been sitting for a while. Um, I got it from a guy that had passed away it was an older man's car and um, the car had been sitting for about 12 years so it has some nice new tires that I ordered from Walmart they were only like 280 bucks which I didn't think was bad for four new tires and then the front bumper um, was faded really bad so even the back bumper was faded so we went ahead and sprayed that off too it makes it look better Right there on the door, it says Regal, as you can see. So it's actually not a bad car at all. She got the key. This is the key to start the car. This key right here opens the trunk and unlocks the door. It's um, kind of like the spare key if the remote's not working. And then this is your GM remote, just your standard unlock lock horn and then the truck button so it flashed it is the ls regal it's not the gx or whatever it's a black exterior and it's got the light gray leather interior the only where in this car is this little area right here which i guess you could get like a patch for it and cover it up or have it replaced or whatever but other than that the car is in pretty good shape and it has really low mileage for the age of the car too being a 24 year old car but as you can see the back seat and everything's in good shape even the top up there is not sagging so that's good on these cars I'm an interior person. I like having a nice interior. I can't stand an interior that's all ripped up or tore up. Even if you look at the dash up there, there's no cracking or nothing. So, here's the key. We'll start it up. This car only has 105,000 miles. I don't know if you can see it right there. 105, 518, which is not bad for one of these uh, old Buicks like this. Starts right up and it runs great. Yeah, so the car's been sitting for a long time. Um, and we just had to do like some refresh stuff to it to bring it back on the road. It's an automatic. I'll come back to the interior in a minute. I'm gonna show you guys the engine that's under there. And it also says Buick Motor Division right there. So you'll know what car you have. Like I said, this features one of the better engines to get if you're gonna get a GM 
V6. This is the 3800 Series 2. So we changed a spark plug wire. One of the spark plug wires was bad and it caused it to have a little misfire, but it was only a spark plug wire. We put new, um, we changed the oil, changed the oil filter, put new air filter in there. We changed the spark plugs themselves. They were easy to change. Car runs great. We checked the power steering fluid and we had to top it off because over time when a car sits, the fluids will break down and they basically lose the whole purpose of what fluids do. Charge the AC, that was another thing we did. So the car is pretty much a ready to go car. You know, it's as good as you're gonna get as far as bringing a car back that's been sitting for 10 years, you know? So we're gonna sit inside here and I'm gonna talk about it, your controls and stuff. So it's pretty nice car. It's actually really comfortable. I drove it around the block and it's really comfortable car. Over here, you got your, you know, your plastic wood grain with your window controls, your window lock. That's your mirror and you adjust it however you want it. Your door locks which when you put the car in gear, it should lock the doors and it does. And then it unlocks it when you put it in park. Nice padded door panel right here. Interior's in pretty good shape. Um, here's your steering wheel. You got your seat button and one cool little feature that this car does have um, so you can be greater than is you can, imagine. You can see the radio knob move up and down, which is kind of cool on these cars. And you can even mute it if you wanted it to, or unmute it. Um, like I said, we did charge the AC, and the AC does work really good. Um, it just needed some some of that 134A. It says Regal LS up there. In the glove box, I have all the owner's manuals and booklets for it. I even have the original paperwork that goes in the window of these cars when they're new. And if you're curious, um, this car, brand new, was, there you go. That's the original window sticker for 1999 Buick Regal, as you can see. Black exterior, all the packages. By the time you're done, the total vehicle's price is $24,492. Ain't that something? You just don't ever see that stuff anymore. A lot of people don't collect that stuff. That's all the receipts for the stuff that we've done to it. Oh, and when I bought the headlights, they came with an extra set of lights. So I went ahead and uh, put them in the glove box so that they'll be there if I ever need them or, you know. You got that rear view mirror, which I still need to clean. It's kind of dirty. got that simple radio system um, with cassette player and your CD player up there and your six preset stations over there down here's your traction control button off that's the display up there and you also have your gear selector down there I don't know if you can see it so headlights over here Blinkers, hazards. There you go. Cup holders in the middle, which is this is kind of a common issue with these uh, Buicks like this. They get very, they're just kind of flimsy and they break over time, which is another common issue with them. And here's your console. You got your change holder right there. No sunroof or nothing like that. But check out this big armrest in the back of this car. See, you got a big armrest for that little seat. Cup holders, a little place to store stuff, and you have a breakthrough through the trunk, which is cool. Nice seats, very comfortable car. Your wipers as well. 
It's a very nice car. We will open that up. You got your little ashtray down there. And a place to store stuff. So that's pretty much the car. Um, I guess I could show you guys the trunk. I'm gonna have to pop it with the key. Show you guys around the car too. So this is the back. You got your LS right there, your Buick right there. That's the dual exhaust system. That's the, that came with the car when I got the car. That's an extra window motor too. That's another thing we did to this car. We did four new window motors cause all of them were um, out pretty much. And except for the driver's side, that was the only one I didn't have to replace. Oh, and down there is um, your brake release. You just push it and then it says brake and then you release it, you just hit the button or hit the button, press down. So, yeah, that's the car. Even sounds pretty good too. Shut it down. It's a interesting car, that's for sure. I like it. So if you guys have any questions or any comments or anything, just let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.